Mrs. Brand, 6th grade from Edgemont Elementary in Sandy, Utah, presents the ABCs of the Moon. Astronauts are people who go into space on rockets. They also go onto the moon. Usually they go through extensive training. It takes one and a half to two hours to put on a spacesuit. Blastoff is a very exciting moment for an astronaut and many other people. As they count, five, four, three, two, one. A thrill goes through the whole audience. To many people, Blastoff is amazing. Craters are caused by meteors crashing into the moon and making huge holes. Some craters are practically microscopic. When they strike the moon, they leave quite an impact, one which can last for a very, very long time. Dust is only three-fourths inches on the moon. People used to think that moon dust was 50 feet thick. Moon dust is not that thick at all. Earth is the planet we live on. It's the only planet in the Milky Way that has life. Earth is the third planet from the sun, and it is 71% water and only 4% fresh water. Because there is no weather or atmosphere on the moon, the footprints don't ever go away. Gravity is very low on the moon. And if you weighed 60 pounds on Earth, you would weigh 10 pounds on the moon. Yeah, man. Yeah. And if you weighed 60 pounds on Earth, you would weigh only 10 pounds on the moon. Yeah, man. Okay. Gravity is very low. The moon is very hot. You cannot touch it, or you can't play in it, or you will die. And yeah. Ice is what comets are made of. Ice is everywhere in space. Even if you planets like Pluto, for example, are covered in ice. Days for jump on the moon, you can jump really high on because there is no gravity on the moon. You weigh a lot less on the moon than you do on Earth. You land slowly when you jump because there is no gravity. Jumping on the moon is like you floating instead of jumping. My podcast for the moon is based on the book we read about the moon. Okay, for kiss. When the boy got home from the lifeless moon, he came home and kissed the ground. He told it he would never leave it again. If you went on a space journey to the moon for two or three days, would you do the same thing? I hope you enjoyed my podcast about the moon. Lava. It is made from volcanoes. It's on the moon. Lava tubes are on the moon. So deep when the sun is above the moon, it is still dark inside. The moon has many craters and moon dust. And if you weigh 60 pounds on Earth, you will weigh 10 pounds on the moon. If you jump off a cliff, it will not hurt.
No gravity. The moon doesn't have any gravity to pull you down, so you can leap high and glide. If you weigh 60 pounds on Earth, you weigh 10 pounds on the moon. It's because there's no gravity. One of Pete's is a crater on the moon. One of Pete's is 67 in diameter. One of Pete's is a lunar crater. It is located near the northwest limb of the moon. Meteors are very large rocks flying through space. Meteors are not any ordinary rock. They are very large and have moles in them. That's what the moon sounds like. On the moon, there is no air, so that's nothing for sound waves to vibrate through. So naturally, there is no sound. It is just plain old quiet. Rockets are the travelers to space. They made it so we could go to the moon. If rockets were invented, not even Neil Armstrong would be famous for the first man to walk on the moon. Or Christina McAllen, first teacher in space. Pressure, mobility, breathable oxygen, temperature regulation. Such in space, the zoo also has a shielding against ultraviolet radiation and communication system. It also protects astronauts from extreme biological hazards. Temperature on the moon is very cold because it's practically half ice. Without a space, you would freeze to death. The universe is commonly defined as the totality of everything that exists, including all physical matter and energy. Observations of earlier stages in the development of the universe, which can be seen at great distances, suggest that the universe has been governed by the same physical laws and constants throughout most of its history. Weightless. If you weigh 60 pounds on Earth, you weigh 10 pounds on the moon. On the moon, you practically float, so it's like you're weightless. Here are some extreme temperatures on the moon, so please enjoy. Extreme temperatures on the moon are no shortage of their name, so don't ever underestimate extreme temperatures. If you went on the moon without a spacesuit, if you went in the shade, you'd either freeze like an ice cube, and if you went in the sun, you'd probably sizzle like a giant pup. Thanks for listening and watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of the podcast. You can go to the moon too. It's your life in space and it's your life on the moon. There is no life on the moon because there is no water or oxygen. Everybody would die or they would have to wear air tanks and masks. That is why there is your life on the moon and your life in space. It's your life, people! Earth.